Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Nikki here, and today I have a fun little project to share with you. But first things first, hands up if you have paper scraps, like a whole bucket or two or three, a box, a drawer full of paper scraps. Well, this little project is a swap that I am part of on in a Facebook group. And the whole idea is you make a little notebook full of scraps to send to your swap partner. Look, there are millions and millions of paper packs out there. There's no way you can own them all. You'd never have space for it. But this is a fun little way to share some love and share some fun. And you end up with a lovely little collection of papers. So I'll just run you through quickly what I have done here so far. I have used scrapbooking paper. This is not a really thick one, but it's okay to make my cover. But honestly, you could use a manila folder, you could use cardboard, you could use anything you like. I just chose this because I found out my swap partner's favorite color is pink and she loves florals. So this seemed like a good choice. I started off by cutting out a rectangle. And of course you can make it any size you like. And for the piece on top, I made it a little longer so that I could fold it over just to give it a little bit more strength because this is, you know, it's it's pretty sort of, it's not very thick paper and I want it, you know, to last. I made mine wide enough so that I could just use a standard hole punch to keep things really simple for my holes and I threaded through a piece of ribbon that I think sort of matches nicely with my colour theme. And on the cover, I've just made a little deco piece, which is a journaling card that I sewed down a piece of vellum, torn across here, just to make a little pocket. And for fun, I've added a few little ephemera pieces in there that uh, my swap partner can also use. And I've added a little bit of decoration. You don't have to decorate the front. You don't have to do anything. But... Just have some fun and find a scrappy friend or journaling friend who would love some papers. Now, what I've done, I have already done this because you don't really need to sit, watch me thread paper on to two pieces of ribbon. I think most of us can manage that without too much trouble. But just one little tip I have for you. For your scraps that are wide enough to fit perfectly, for a two hole punch, then it's very simple. You simply punch the holes and you thread it onto the ribbon, of course, if the ribbon decides to behave. You could also use string. Look, you can use anything. There are no rules with this. It's just a matter of having some fun so that you can share some of your papers. So I have included all sorts of thing in here. I found out she's not a 100% vintage addict. She does like a bit of contemporary, so I have included some vintage style papers, plain papers, pattern papers, a huge variety of colours, just so, you know, little, little coffee dyed scraps, little music scrap, it doesn't matter, whatever you've got. I've also included vellum, I think I've also somewhere, and yes, I've got a piece of um, alcohol ink paper that I made, whatever you have. Just don't send them rubbish. Just, you know, pick nice things. Now, of course, we often have little scraps that are left over. And I will show you how to put these in here. So what I did with all my little ones that obviously I are not wide enough for a two hole punch, I put them all into pairs and just punched a hole on each side. And I will show you why. You just put one down. And then the other one. And then you grab a glue stick or any, whatever your favorite glue is, it doesn't matter. And you put the tiniest little bit up in the corner. And then you stick it down. Now, the reason why I've done that, if I didn't do it, then all these little bits are going to keep flipping out the side, and I can't be bothered with that. So just a tiny little bit of glue, 
And then that is how you make it. You can make it as thick as you like, as thin as you like. It doesn't matter. The whole idea is to send someone a little pack of joy, and that's what this is. So they can just have it sitting on their craft desk, and when they're journaling or scrapbooking or whatever they love to do, they will have a great little collection of papers, hopefully different to what's already in their stash. You can cut bits out, tear bits out, die cut a piece, do whatever you like, it doesn't matter. But what a simple project, zero cost involved, because honestly, we are just using up our scraps for this. All I have to do is tie this up and it is ready to go in the mail. Voila. Have a look at that. Now, this is a fun project. You can have it done in, in half an hour or so. Just go through your scraps, put it all together, and send it to a friend who really might appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Um, if you are new to this channel, I would love it if you would subscribe for paper crafting and planning videos. And if you did enjoy this quick little craft project, love it if you would hit the thumbs up button. Until next time, take care. Bye for now. Stay safe, stay, whoop, stay safe and stay healthy. Take care. Bye.